In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to properly prepare a remix pack. There's a right way and a wrong way to do just about anything, and remix packs are no exception. If you have managed to get your track signed to a label, then they will often ask you to provide a remix pack. Having someone do a remix of your track is a great way for you to gain extra exposure, so you should try to make the remix process as simple and straightforward as possible. Unfortunately, more often than not, people tend to make a huge mess when they assemble their remix packs. Why not just spend an extra few minutes and do it right? It will greatly increase the chance that someone will actually want to remix your track. One thing is for sure, if everything is just a mess and people have to spend a good amount of time just trying to figure out what all the different files are for, then that's going to turn most people off. You might have just blown your chance of getting that awesome breakthrough remix that you were hoping for. If your pack looks like this, then I can assure you it's not going to be very tempting for any serious person to get started on that remix. Instead, do yourself a favor and spend those extra five minutes and prepare your remix pack properly. Here's how you should do it. First, put an original version of your song in the folder. This is a good thing to have as most producers will want to have access to the original version when they start a remix. By placing a copy of the original mix in your remix pack, they won't have to waste time searching for it online. Another thing that people often forget is to provide even the most basic info. So make sure to create a PDF or a text document and type in some basic info about your track. At the very least, this should include the key of the track, the tempo, and your contact information in case they need to reach you. When you have done that, you should create two folders, one for MIDI and one for samples. Make sure to include all the MIDI files for your most important elements, such as the chords and the main leads, and place those in the MIDI folder. Then, make sure to include any important samples, such as vocals, vox, special effects, and so on, into the sample folder. This should be anything that you think is essential in order to make the remix. Last but not least, and this is the most important of all, make sure to name all your files properly. This is the most common mistake that people make. Label everything so that it's self-explanatory. If you have both dry and wet versions of the same thing, then make sure to label it correctly, especially if you have used vocals in your track. In that case, you should definitely include both the dry and wet samples. This is how it should look when you're done. Everything is nice and organized and placed into the correct folders. Sometimes, though, samples just won't cut it, and the label might ask for stems instead. In this case, just export your stems and label them properly. Make a folder called Stems and place all your stems there. If you're not sure what to include or if you're just making your own remix pack for a friend or something, then you certainly can't go wrong by including both the stems and the samples. Again, I strongly recommend including both dry and wet versions of important samples such as vocals. By removing all the processing and including the dry samples, you're allowing the remixer to apply his or her own effects. If you only include the wet samples, you're basically tying their hands. Doing these things properly will take a tiny bit of your time, but it makes the whole remixing process so much easier. Seriously, you don't want anyone remixing your track to start working on it while in a state of frustration, do you? I'd like to thank our Patreons who helped make these videos possible. I hope you liked this video, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, if there's any specific tutorial you'd like me to make, or you have a question, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.